Greetings, my HDEF people. Give me just one second to get the uh, low def started. Christelle has the evening off. Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to the correct views. Sam I beating Angie with tonight's massive Fukushima update. Regular viewers already know this. You get a massive Fukushima update every month. Well, guess what? You're going to want to subscribe because we're going to start out the new year with a two-part. That means that I'm doing Fukushima tonight. I'm also doing Fukushima tomorrow. And then Wednesday is the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, which is uh, a must-see. I mean, let's face it. So, guys, here's part one. We're going to go right into it. I've had people saying, I don't get into the news fast enough. God forbid I say hello to everyone. Um, thank you for sharing the video. My Fukushima people are by far and away the people that click the most. And as always, the promise. You'll get the best, most up-to-date, most accurate Fukushima news right here at the correct views. Friends, Kurt Nemo, PrisonPlanet.com, Islamic State bomb expert threatens London with dubious dirty bomb. I like to mention this, and I like to, uh, part one, uh, tomorrow's going to be more of actual Japan. I wanted to go over how all issues nuclear, including Fukushima, are affecting us every day. And uh, this is another instance. Many of you know that I am proudly on record for saying that the Bashir nuclear plant in Iran is a disaster. Why? Because first and foremost, you're building it in an earthquake zone. And we all know that the earthquake is what caused some of the meltdowns at Fukushima and not the tidal wave. That's important. Second of all, we know that Islam doesn't need to bomb other Islamists. There are a certain number of people in Islam that will bomb you because you are the wrong kind of Islam. And it is for these reasons that we worry about it. Well, it gets worse. The Frankenstein monster devised the United States and Saudi Arabia, now calling itself the Islamic State, has nuclear material and will build a dirty bomb according to reports circulating in the corporate media. And let's face it, friends, we've covered this before. They took what they needed to build a dirty bomb from peaceful studies. That is why nuclear is just universally a bad idea. It doesn't even need to start out harmful. It just always ends up harmful. It says the weapons of a mass destruction meme purported, uh, pr excuse me, prompted Iraq's United Nations ambassador, Mohammed Ali al to write a letter to the globalist organization boss Kim, uh, Ban Ki-moon. These nuclear materials, uh, despite the limited amounts mentioned, can enable terrorist groups with the availability of the required expertise, which they have, uh, at gunpoint, no less, to use its separate or combination with other materials in its terrorist acts. Uh, it says the Iraqi government claims that ISIS militants seized 90 pounds of uranium, stored at a research center at Mosul University when it swept through, swept through northern Iraq earlier this year. How obvious does it have to be, people? How obvious does it have to be? When you're, they were using these materials to peacefully teach about Islam, about uh, nuclear weaponry. However, Islamists are notorious for breaking into factions. And I mean, again, we got nutcase Christians. Of course we have nutcase Christians. But worse than that is these crazy jihadis that think that everything must be used as a weapon in the betterment of Allah to kill everybody else who doesn't call him Allah. And it's all over. It's global, which is what I try to stress with each of these posts is that this matters to you because 
It affects you. It affects your loved ones. It affects your children. It doesn't just need to be Fukushima, which we all have some idea how bad it is, or you probably wouldn't have tuned in. Share this with people. Share this video right here with people that don't think it affects them. Let's go to another part of the world, shall we? Reuters. Ukrainian Prime Minister reports accident at nuclear power plant. Chris Busby has spoken about this on uh, InfoWars. This is a very big problem. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said on Wednesday that an accident had occurred at the uh, Zaporizhzhia nuclear plant, that's NPP, in southeast Ukraine and called on the energy minister to hold a news conference. It says, I know an incident has occurred at the plant, Yatsunyuk said, asking new energy minister Volodymyr Dementian to make clear when the problem would be resolved and what steps would be taken to restore normal power across the Ukraine. Well, let's pause there. What should they do? They should close down the nuclear power plant and refuse to have any nuclear energy in the Ukraine. Well, Sam, what about the Russians, including when the Russians come in? Well, Sam, what about the EU, including when the EU comes in? There is no reason under any circumstances to ever have nuclear power because nuclear power is death. Nuclear power is not energy. Nuclear power is not what turns the lights on, turns the heats on. It is what gives you cancer, you freaking morons! And I have very little sympathy for the Ukraine anyway. anyway. Many regular listeners know. Ukrainians, listen to me. If you want to be part of the EU, I don't have any sympathy for you. If you want to be part of Russia, I don't have any sympathy for you. Be Ukrainians or shut the hell up. News agency Interfax Ukraine said that the problem had occurred at block number three. A one thousand megawatt reactor and the resulting lack of input had worsened the power crisis in the country. Interfax added that the block was expected to come back on steam in December 5th. And listen, look up Chris Busby. Look up what he said on InfoWars. This is a huge problem that is just being buried. And let, come on, regular listeners, sing it with me. How do they bury these sorts of things? They bury these sorts of things because you can't taste or smell nuclear. You don't know it's killing you, but it is. Um, and this is from pakelspress.com, uh, Pakels P-A-K-E-L-E-R-T. Warning, USA. That would be America for you Kesha fans. Deadly levels of radiation escalate and growing at unprecedented rates. Experts are very concerned, and there's a shocking video for it. Shocking video for anybody who's had their head in the sand, because I've been warning about this for how long now? These alarming levels come at the heaviest travel days of the year, and have millions of Americans flying through air that they have no idea may be impacted by dangerous levels of radiation. Well, Fukushima didn't matter, right? These nuclear elements don't matter. Do you know that all through the holiday season, this is what you got. It says no information exists in any airport in the United States that alerts travelers to the danger. But why? Experts are greatly concerned, though unsure if the result of Fukushima or something much more sinister. What is happening? Could it be that the world as we know it is falling apart, just like we are warned would happen in the book of Revelations? It says, uh, and I, I'm a firm believer in that, by the way, too, but you don't have to be. The science speaks beyond religion here. It says the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, who are all but useless, RADNET radiation monitors have detected renewed surges in atmospheric readings of dangerous beta radiation across the country. Over a dozen metropolitan test sites have registered four-month highs in EnviroReporter.com's most recent comprehensive assessment. 
These figures, compiled from government graphs and organized radnet air monitoring, show even greater radiation levels than the already high detection exposed in August 7th, and we covered it here at the Correct Views, which were U.S. air radiation surges higher. That is this problem that you may never have heard of if you're a new listener. This is radiation leaking at massive levels affecting the United States, giving your kid heart disease, giving your loved one cancer, diminishing the quality of your immune system. It says beta radiation impacted cities in this fall included San Diego, which I've been saying you should not live on the West Coast, and this is why, Bakersfield, Phoenix, Amarillo, Montgomery, and Madison. Some of these RADnet sites recorded beta readings, that is nuclear poison, too poisonous to live there readings, literally going off the chart. They can't even measure it. It's so high. At 1,000 total beta counts per minute, that's a CPM. Through a Los Angeles beta station, it says it hasn't worked in over a year. EnviroReporter.com tracks beta emissions, even though they're trying to hide it from you, through dust analysis from HEPA filter machines located in its Santa Monica offices. They can't hide that. The latest period's beta radiation detections were over eight times the same source readings of late summer. In other words, it's already gotten worse and it's only winter. Some of the highest registering cities also are markedly higher than the same readings shown on RADnet in 2013. Compared to its November 27, 13 reading, Tucson's 460 CPM reading on the same date of the year later was over 10 times elevated. Phoenix's November 28th reading was 735 CPM, was over 21 times higher than exactly one year ago. This means exactly what I've been saying. You should not be living on the West Coast because if you are, you're going to be hurting yourselves greatly. And it gets worse because it's not just that area. A private citizen-sourced radiation network has identified at least one hot spot in St. Charles, Illinois. Again, it's because of the way the jet stream goes over the nation. It says EnviroReporter.com, the Australian environmental activist Alan Manson, shows extremely elevated readings in St. Charles, Illinois, which is not the West Coast, in case you're an Usher fan. It says, I have been assessing certain radiation monitoring sites across the U.S. through uh, its NEC.com. And it's a website uh, that monitors this sort of sorts of things. And it says, quote, have noted that one site west of Chicago, that'd be St. Charles, is regularly producing extreme readings every 24 hours, as shown in the chart below. So what does all of this mean? It means that the poison from Fukushima is very much real. It means that you should not live in the West Coast. Am I talking about Washington, Oregon, and California? Am I talking about Los Angeles? Am I talking about Hawaii? Yes, if you live there, you're killing your family, you're killing you, and you're an idiot. This is why I'm so angry. Because they have poisoned our world, and they've poisoned America in relation to the jet stream. That is the way that Earth uh, circulates air. It's the way it circulates the wind And if you don't know what it is, look it up. You're way behind and you're going to need to know this because it's your health that depends on it. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam, I beat Angie reporting for The Media Speaks. I've got three more stories. And as I've said, we are also going live again with this tomorrow. Um, I do want to remind you as we go into the new year that if you're anywhere near downtown Canton, make sure you check out the Arcadia Grill one of the best restaurants that you've ever eaten at. And I'd ask you, I'll ask you to look at the work of Mike McLaughlin. You can find him at facebook.com by looking up Mike McLaughlin. Let him know you heard about his stories, his poetry, and his works from the correct view. Christina Syreach, prisonplanet.com, as we move forward with your Fukushima update. California Fukushima. West Coast plant is a ticking time bomb. Again, how does all of this affect you? 
Greater scrutiny of Diablo Canyon's perfect name, it means devil, twin nuclear reactors is needed, of course, says Sam Blackesley, a former California state senator. Bla I guess it'd be Blakesley. Testifies to a Senate panel this week that makes determinations on public safety issues. He feels, and I would say rightly so, that the nuclear power plant poses a hazard should an earthquake happen in California since the reactors are on fault lines. And again, let me reiterate this. They want to tell you that it was the tidal wave that affected and caused the meltdown in Fukushima, but that is not true. Many of the meltdowns, melt outs, and what has become a melt through that is outside of the reactor. It's the black goo that you're finding in Tokyo and on your, all of your food that comes from Japan, which is why you should never eat any of it, despite what Lady Gaga's stupid ass says. Um, it was the earthquake, not the tsunami, that triggered the meltdowns. And now we're looking at these issues here in the United States. <clears throat> it says the reactors are located near several faults, on the Seaside Bluff Midway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. If you don't know what plate tectonics are, look it up. It says, of course, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and owner of the plant, Pacific Gas and Electric Company, have vehemently defended the safety of the site. Well, let's remember that TEPCO, which is GE, which is why you should never invest in GE, has said the same thing before they poisoned the globe. It says that they're saying it's perfectly safe, and this is exactly what TEPCO assured the public. There's links for it on this site. It says that Fukushima's site was safe. Well, we know that it wasn't. Blakesley is particularly qualified to testify about the Diablo Canyon site since he is a geophysicist, not just a politician. He left the legislature in 2012 and included, right here are his prepared remarks. It says, quote, the potential earthquakes affecting the plant have increased with each major study. That means the likelihood of this happening here in America and poison us more, poisoning us more than Fukushima did, those risks are greater than ever. It says, uh, what's equally striking is that the shaking predicted by PG&E for these increasing threats has systematically decreased. In other words, they are not prepared. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is supposed to be reevaluating nuclear power plants to consider seismic risks with studies due in March. In reference to Diablo Canyon, another scientist meant to testify states, quote, the NRC must make safety its highest priority, and they have not, or they wouldn't have even opened it. Because earthquakes don't wait for endless studies, and I am concerned that the NRC is again dithering with action that is called for. Basically, they're not worried about what happens. They're worried about the dollar bill, and they're hoping that they die before it melts down and kills those of us that have not. It says, according to the Associated Depressed, a senior federal nuclear expert has urged the NRC to shut down the plant until it is determined whether or not the reactors can withstand the shaking. We've covered here repeatedly they cannot. The answer to nuclear is having no nuclear. Is there any other option? No. If you think there is, you're wrong. Welcome to the correct views. It says there are currently over 62 nuclear power plants, that's 62 more than we should have, in the U.S. According to the World Nuclear Association, the U.S. is the world's largest producer of nuclear power, accounting for more than 30% of its worldwide nuclear generation. I would argue that France is also on even kill. It says we don't even list the top 10 countries for solar power, though we are supposed to be a superpower. That's because America has been destroyed Ever since Reagan. Uh, CA.news.yahoo.com. South Korea steps up cybersecurity at nuclear plants. This is another problem, even if you are not in an earthquake zone, and it could be argued that South Korea technically still is. Um, this is from Seoul. South Korea boosted cybersecurity at the country's nuclear power plants on Tuesday. Following what President Park Gwen Hai described as a series of grave data leaks, and prosecutors said they are investigating a new online threat. 
these people knew at the end of, well, well, it never really ended, but at the end of the Korean War, that we had nutcases in North Korea. They still built these things. And guess what? Now we have terrorists, not only in North Korea, but all over the Middle East. They call themselves fundamental Islamists. Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company, LTD, which runs South Korea's 23 nuclear power reactors, said on Monday that its computer systems had been hacked, raising alarm in a country that is still technically at war with North Korea. Might I ask why would you ever put a jump drive of any kind into a nuclear reactor's USB computer port? Because you're stupid. Park ordered inspections on safeguards at national infrastructure facilities, including nuclear power plants, against what he called cyber terrorism. Maybe you should have thought of that before you freaking built it! A government official said authorities had raised the cyber crisis alert by one level for all state-run companies to caution from attention. So what do you do? You pull all of your money out of stocks in South Korean nuclear power and it ends tomorrow. That is a correct view. It says the nuclear operator, part of the state-run Korea Electric Power Corporation, which should be gone bankrupt due to poisoning the world, said only non-critical data had been stolen from operations. Of course, it's always non-critical until, of course, you find out they lied. Nuclear power plants, which should not exist, are first-class security installations that directly impact the safety of the people. Maybe you shouldn't have one, and the people would be a lot safer. It says a grave situation that is unacceptable has developed when there should have been a lot of trace of lapse on the matter of national security. Don't open nuclear power plants. You don't have this problem. I have this conversation all the time. Are you trying to quit smoking? Here's how. Quit buying cigarettes. Guess what? You don't have cigarettes to smoke. You've just quit. How do you get out of nuclear power? You stop funding them. You stop subsidizing them. And guess what? You have no more nuclear power problems solved. It's really freaking easy. It says, within hours of Park's comments, an online user who claimed to have hacked the nuclear operator posted a new threat and a fresh batch of data on the same Twitter account that was used for previous threats and leaks. We are now looking at it. We believe it was done by the same user, an official of South Korean, pro by the t South Korean prosecutor's office said. By the time they find out who did it, they will have already melted it down. It said an official at the nuclear operator said it is working to verify whether the data had been taken from its computers. That means it has. Earlier, the investigations team official said Seoul had not ruled out the possibility of North Korea was involved in the attack. Let's remember that they probably were. North Korea, they're destitute. They don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. They have very few things at their disposal. One of them is the human mind. They find the, brightest, the greatest, brightest, most intelligent minds, and they send them to other countries, because their country is worthless after communism. They send their best and brightest elsewhere. They come back, they hack because the computer is cheap, that's how it's done. Let's not forget that uh, Kim Jong-il and uh, Kim Jong-un had talked about repeatedly wanting to attack the U.S. The Kim Jong-un originally took credit for the Sony attack. Don't give me this BS that it was Sony that did it. It was North Korea. And uh, now we're looking at them creating a problem in South Korea. It says anti-nuclear activists in South Korea have protested against the, news, the, the use of nuclear power. That's because they're intelligent. Friends, uh, the last thing I'm going to get to, this is from Censored News. It's B-S-N-O-R-R-E-L-L dot blogspot dot com. But it's a dumb deal of the day. Bolivia's nuclear power plant is disturbing news to Native Americans. Maybe they should have camped out on the grounds and refused to ever let them build the plant there if they were that concerned about it. 
It says the announcement by Bolivia President Eva Morales that Bolivia would build a nuclear power plant came as troubling news to those who attended the climate change and protection of Mother Earth. But nuclear power protects the Earth. No, it doesn't. First of all, man-made global warming is a lie. Man is not warming the planet in any way, shape, matter, or form by anything that he does. Second of all, even if he was, nuclear is still much more deadly. We need to stick with what we're already using. Ophelia Rivas o Odom from the o Odom Territory on Turtle Island was among those from the north who attended the conference in Bolivia and recommends action, thank God. As co-president of the Indigenous Working Group on the Rights of Mother Earth at the 2010 World Indigenous Climate Change Summit, I recommend a worldwide petition to express our deep concern of this economic liberation, as it's called, which is a development decision in Bolivia. I recall the words of the grassroots women of Bolivia and their deep heartful love of Pacamama, Mother Earth, and the absolute determination to protect her. Bolivian President Evo Morales announced that his government will invest around $2 billion in U.S. money through 2025 to develop nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. That means to increase the cancer rate in Bolivia, to make it so that the South is as bad as the North in terms of cancer rates, leukemias, heart diseases, and the destruction of the planet. In order to prevent man-made global warming, which isn't happening, they're going to open nuclear power plants, which will hurt the planet when man-made global warming isn't happening. That's why they get the dumb day of the day. These people have a special place in hell, I'm sure of it. President Morales said, We can never feel like a small country again now that we have liberated ourselves economically. With this type of investment toward atomic energy, we are going to guarantee that. No, what you're going to guarantee is high cancer rates, inevitable meltdowns, routine releases, heart diseases, and the general uptick in genetic problems and uh, mental retardation among your youth. Good job, idiot. Bolivia began nuclear cooperation with Argentina in May of 2014 and most recently in mid-July after meeting Russian President Vladimir Putin in Brazil. Uh, let's remember that a lot of the uh, world leaders have bought uh, land south of the equator because there has yet to be any nuclear incident there and now we're seeing that one is inevitable. It says the nuclear power plant would be built in La Faz province, which will forever be poisoned, I might add. The announcement was made after uranium was discovered in Santa Cruz. Well, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can discover a rapist. And just because I discovered him, I'll send him to your mother's house so that she can be safe. That's the analogy that could be used for this. In a strange turn of events, La Paz and Santa Cruz were two of the cities that Native Americans arrived at at the Mother Earth Conference. So basically, the dumdy of the day is going to the president of Bolivia that is going to poison his country in the name of man-made global warming when man-made global warming isn't even happening. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangie signing off. There'll be a part two to this. I'm doing it tomorrow. So please listen to these shows. Please share them. And please remember to pull your money out of all things stock related to anything nuclear. GE, Westinghouse, we can do this. We can stop it, friends. You can donate to the show at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. Friends, I'm going to be honest. I could use your help. I'm trying to grow the show. I'm trying to do more with this, and I can't do it without your help. Lastly, friends, please go to the Media Speaks and look up the work of Kyle Court D. Lake and myself. Friends, you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com and I will see you tomorrow with part two of your massive Fukushima update.